We've got three game improvement irons to test out today. The Mizuno JPX921 Hot Metal, Callaway Maverick, and Wilson D300. Uh, we're going to test them out with TrackMan and see how they compare. Hey golfers, Drew here at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a certified master fitter here at the Minnetonka location. We've got an interesting game improvement iron test today. We've got a new Mizuno JPX 921 iron. Uh, that was actually new in 2020. We've got a Callaway Maverick that was it's actually a used set from 2020. And then we've got a little bit older, Wilson D300. Uh, so three different models, uh, all in that kind of game improvement category. Uh, Jackie's gonna test them out. Uh, we're gonna maybe show the value of used, but also the, the value of some, getting something new as well. So, uh, Jackie, I know you're familiar with all three of these irons. Um, I know they're, you also kind of each have them in probably a similar weight as yep. well. So, should be a good test. But um, what do you know about these irons? What do you think we'll see? Yeah, I think uh, with the Wilson, obviously you're getting, it's, it's a value set, mm -hmm. you know, right around that three 350 mark for a set of these. So, mm. definitely uh, for golfers getting started out, yeah. uh, something to, to consider. Mm -hmm. uh, so it'll be fun to, to test that out. This is the Uniflex. Uh, so going to be, you know, all these are going to be right around 95 to 100 grams in weight. So, you know, very similar in that regard. And then when it comes to like the Maverick and also the JPX 921, which very familiar with a lot of people are getting those yeah. uh, right around this time. So with both of them, uh, very similar in specs uh, as well as just performance. So it'll be interesting just to compare uh, what a value set's going to get you versus, you know, something yeah. that's going to cost a little bit more. Oh, yeah. We've got, like, a brand new. We've got kind of a slightly used, and we've got kind of a, a, a little bit older, but definitely a used set with some value to it as yep. well. So we'll test all three out with TrackMan. And uh, you ready to hit some shots here? Let's go. Yeah, that one's good. That's good too, wow. All right, Jackie, that is 15 iron shots now. Um, you've hit three different models. I did want to get, just first before looking at any of the numbers, um, what you thought about the sound and the feel of each one, starting with you know Wilson D300, then you went to Maverick, then you went to the uh, Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal. So any, did you, you know, feel a, something was way better? or not as good, or, or was there serious differences there, or not really? Yeah, um, with the Maverick, definitely felt more hot off the face. That's the first thing I noticed right away. Uh, just pop, more mm -hmm. pop. Uh, but the hot metal felt the best, just okay. soft and you know consistent. Even on my miss hits, like, even though I'm playing a, a steel shaft in all these, like with that one, even on my miss hits, didn't feel terrible or okay. anything. So. Uh, definitely can tell the difference between just the different levels yeah. um, in the feel. Uh, so interesting to see the numbers to reflect that, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess the Mizuno slogan, right, is nothing feels like a Mizuno, so. Yeah. Um, and that, I guess, it was kind of, you know, it was tagged on their like forged irons, right, in their forging process, but clearly with the, the hot metal iron, it certainly works there too in comparison to other game improvement irons. So, numbers now. We can bring up sort of dispersion plus plus the numbers and um, interesting. So we should note, right? Wilson D300, 29 and a half degrees on the seven iron. The Maverick is 27, so that's two and a half degrees difference. And then the JPX 921 hot metal is 29. So there are some differences there in loft, but curious, like it's interesting that we're seeing, I'm just looking at the map and the JPX 921 hot metal almost compared better to the Maverick. Yep. than it did to the D300, even though it's way closer in loft to the D300. Yeah, that is, I, I would have thought that the the hot metal would have been right around where the Wilson was, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, the other thing is just, I think with the hot metal, right, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, it's just the materials that they use, right? I mean, it's, yeah. that's the newest club, right? And so it does give you a little bit more pop. I mean, I think what, 
the the rule that I know you know our friend Thomas Campbell uses is you know one degree of loft is about three yards or so of carry distance, right? Yeah. So, but clearly here there's something else going on because 132 yards with the D300 at 29 and a half degrees of loft, and then 143 with the JPX 920 hot metal. So a lot of pop there with this Mizuno iron. Yeah, well, and again, you know, the materials they're using in one to the other, I mean, that's why you're gonna pay more for yeah. the, you know, Mizuno, it's just because yeah. you kind of get what you pay for, yeah. you know, right? So like, it's not that the Wilson D300 felt bad, it's just, you know, definitely a good value type yeah. iron when we look at the numbers even, I mean, good numbers, uh, oh, yeah. you know, but the feel wise, yeah, the Mizuno definitely feels way better uh, yeah. than, you know, the Wilson mm -hmm. would feel. Yeah, and I think we should also note, look how small this dispersion is. Right yeah, here, the Maverick, the that's Maverick. crazy. So that, first of all, testament to you for swinging it so consistently. I mean, these three are like two feet apart out there, if yeah. that, that's that's pretty good. Uh, and then the, I mean, the D300 dispersion, that's still awesome too. Yeah. Like, in comparison to the Maverick, it's not as good, but like any golfer would take though that series of shots any day, so. Yeah. Uh, good performance here from all three of these clubs. And um, we should note too, so like, I thought the spin number here from Maverick is very interesting. Cause you talk about stopping power a lot, right? And yeah. you see that it runs out 15 yards and that's, you know, obviously more than both D300 and JPX 920 hot metal. And that's to do with loft, but interesting. That's one thing to note for golfers thinking about one of these three iron sets is, you know, the stronger loss of the Maverick will not give you as much stopping power, but potentially some more distance. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, with any of these, it just comes down to what suits your game. You know, if you're a sl slower swing speed player and you're looking for forgiveness, then yeah, Maverick is mm -hmm. probably gonna take the cake there. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're looking for something that has uh, good value and, and good stopping power, I mean, yeah. you, it just depends on what you're looking for, oh, yeah. but but, but the hot metal and the Wilson are, are up there in that regard. But I also think too, I mean, just the shaft and how I want to touch on that is, I mean, like the shaft importance on any of these, yeah. crucial. Um, you know, for me, looking at like even the Maverick, uh, if I were to go with the Maverick, I'd probably go with a lighter shaft, kind of help with that, getting it up a little bit sure. in the air, a little bit more spin. Yeah. Um, but, and, and that's just something to touch on because a lot of players, when it comes to different lofts, comes to different, you know, type of club, um, always know that with the shaft, that's like crucially important yeah. in how you create that combo. So mm -hmm. that's why it's so important to get fitted just because of yeah. that part of it. Mm -hmm. um, you can pick out, you know, that Uniflex Wilson, right? But like, how is that gonna perform for you in the long run? I, I mean, it, 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 might, it might fit a beginner golfer for sure, but for someone that's maybe playing quite a bit, yeah. you want to get something that's going to be able to give you that stopping power for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, there, there is that crucial element, and you know, we always, you know, we never gloss over that, is the, the, the golf yeah. shaft is just as important as the club head, um, and making sure that combination is, is in tune. And so I think, like you said, it's, it's up to what the golfer wants. If it's golfer on a budget, right? I mean, yep. Second swing golf, use clubs, right? That's a huge part of what we do here is offer great value use clubs. Wilson D300, uh, very, it's gonna be cheaper than these other two models and it performs, you know, it's, I would say the performance isn't quite up to that level, but also the, the price is much lower. So it's gonna be kind of what the golfer wants in their game. Meanwhile, you talk about Maverick and Hot Metal, you see the performance, you see how tight that dispersion is with the Maverick, you see that extra distance out of the Hot Metal. And so again, that's all about coming into a second swing store location or talking with one of our team members online and understanding the differences. And it doesn't have to be these three models either. There's a bunch of different uh, models in our selection to choose from here. So this is just a small, small sample of right. what's out there. So uh, yeah. this is a very interesting test here. I'm actually very surprised at how far that JPX 921 hot metal did go. I think it just speaks in testament when, you know, we have golfers come in here that are trying, that are getting fit and we talk about budget, mm -hmm. you know, there's always something for everyone's game, yeah. but when you talk about the clubs that have just better technology, I mean, that this test just shows that. Yeah. I mean, you have the, relatively the same loft, the same gram weight in the shaft on the Wilson and the JPX, but I'm getting, you know, I got how many more yards, so, mm -hmm. and, and the stopping power is relatively the same with both. So it just goes to show that with a higher end club, you, you 
more than likely you're going to get more distance out of yeah. that versus a club that has, you know, yeah. uh, is, is less expensive and yeah. maybe a little bit older too. Yeah. So and something used and certainly in the game improvement category, that's what you're looking for yeah. is more distance and something brand new is, is as we see here going to give you that. But uh, this is a very interesting test. I think, mean, you know, again, the used clubs and these older models are a huge part of what we offer at Second Swing. And so coming in, trying them out for yourself, understanding the benefits of each one, and maybe buying value is the right way to go. Maybe that's actually the best performer for you too. That's one of the things we've noticed as well. So, uh, but Jackie, thank you for hitting all the shots today, giving us your insight and your feedback. This was, this was really interesting. Yeah, thank you for having me.